Hi everyone, my name is Ruth Henry, or you can call me the Ibibio girl. I'm from Ibionibom local government area in Akwa Ibom State, Uyo, precisely. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, or you can call me the Ibibio girl. And in this channel, I'm going to talk about EPIC and EBBO for beginners. You learn how to speak and write EPIC and EBBO as a beginner. If you follow this tutorial, you should be able to communicate in EPIC and EBBO in few months time. Alright, so if you are someone, maybe you are living in diaspora or you're living outside the state or you just want to learn how to speak EPIC or EBBO language, then this channel is for you. All you have to do is to click on the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my video tutorials. It's going to help you a lot, maybe for easy communication or easy identification. That sometimes you travel back home, maybe from wherever you are, and you feel so bored, you, you feel left out because you don't understand the language they are speaking, which is your home language. Your mother tongue, but you don't understand it, you don't even know where to start from. Sometimes it's annoying. So it's good for you, you can actually learn it from wherever you are. You learn how to speak like a pro that when you get home everybody will be like ah you stay abroad and you're speaking this language like this oh wow so this is cool you stay ah you stay outside of home state and you're speaking like this oh wow so if you want to be like this then this channel is for you just stay tuned to the end of this video subscribe to the, this channel and then you will get updates on video tutorials on epic and epic you will start as a beginner though, or you become a pro in EFIC and EVB. Alright, let's get started. Before we start, I would like to talk about um, some things about EFIC and EVB. Like, which part of Nigeria speaks EFIC and EVB? Some people may even be asking, okay, EFIC and EVB, which part of Nigeria speaks this language? Alright, we have the answer here for you. Cross River and Aquaibum states speak EFIC and EVB. Crossover speak epic language. It is the common language in Crossover State. Though they have other local dialects in different communities, but the common language is epic. So if you know how to speak epic and you're in Crossover, once you get there and speak epic, they will understand you. They will understand you very well. So you start from the, co the common language before you go deep into your community local language. Some parts in Aquaibu State as well also speak epic because outside their local dialects, their means of communication is a thick when they move out of their community. The second one is the Ibibio language. It is spoken in Akwaibom State and is a common language in Akwaibom State. Though we have other um, languages in Akwaibom State like Anang, Eket, Oron, etc. But the common language is Ibibio. So if you know how to speak Ibibio, you actually be able to communicate very well with people in Akwaibom State. You learn, you learn the common language first before you go deep into the local language. Okay, and this Aquaibum State and Cross River is found in the south south part of Nigeria. It is found in the south south part of Nigeria. Okay, we'll start the class as I promised, and in our first class, we're going to talk about the basic things you should know in EFIC and EBB. There are three basic things you should know. If you want to learn if you can review, there are three basic things, things you should know. And number one is vowel sounds. Vowel sounds are one of the most important things you should know because without it you can't pronounce. You can't read and you can't pronounce very well. So you have to start from the vowel sounds, which we call it uyo ubob iko. Uyo ubob iko. Uyo ubob iko means pronunciation sounds. Then we have the second one as the consonant sound. The consonant sounds are called, is called them um, uyo utat iko, uyo utat iko, and how to use them, how to apply them in words, how to apply them in your pronunciation. This is the reason why you need to know these three basic things first if you want to learn a can in video. It's the same thing like learning your normal English language. You have to know your vowels and your consonant sound. Then that's the speech sounds. Then from there, you start up from there before you know how to pronounce and how to spell. That is just it. So in today's class, I will talk about vowel sounds. We all know that vowel sounds are speech sounds used for pronunciation. We have six vowel sounds in EFIC and EBV, which I'm going to show you the vowel sounds we have in EFIC and EBV. And they are represented by letters. We have 
A E I O O U A E I O O U The A sound is represented by letter A The A sound is represented by letter E The E sound is represented by letter I The O sound is represented by letter O The O sound is represented by letter O with a dot under it A dot under it then we have U, which is represented by letter U. So these are the six vowel letters in Efik and Ibibu, which are used for pronunciation and writing words. So if you know the vowel sounds, definitely you and your first step to pronouncing or reading of Efik and Ibibu. So the next thing I'll show you is how to apply the vowel letters in words. Like here, you see the R sound represented by letter A. And these are words that are applicable to it. Akon, Abang, Akan, Aran, Abak, Akman, Akon. Akon is a person's name. Abang, Abang means sports. Not actually the normal cooking pots, but a water jar that is a local water jar that is used for fetching water at home. Then we have Akan. It's a person's name. Aran. Red oil or palm oil. Abak. is a local government in Akwa Home State. And Akpan, which is the first son in the house. So if you see that all these um, words have the sound A in it, represented by letter A. So the next one is A. A, which is represented by letter E. And these are words that are applicable to it. We have eto, ete, etim, ekong, esang. Eto means tree. Ete means father. Etim means is someone's name, though. Ekong means war. Esang means stop. So you see that all these words has the sound. A in it and are represented by letter E. So when you see a sound with E, you understand that this is A sound and you know how to start your pronunciation. Then we have the next one as E, which is Iko, Ita, Item, Ikbang. Iko means word, Ita means tree. It's actually someone's name as well. Item means advice, Ikbang means spoon. All of them has the sound E on it and is represented by letter I. So you now see that they are applicable in almost all the day-to-day -day words you, we use. So the next one I will show you now is the vowel sound O. Vowel sound O has um, words applicable to it as well like Obu, which is crayfish. Okon, a popular name in Akwaibu State and Prospera. Owo, which means human beings. So all this one are, has an O sound in it, represented with letter O as well. O bu, O kun, O wo. The next one is O sound, which has um, the O and a dot under it. Then we have words that are applicable to it. We have ubong, ubong, ubong. If you see that this ubong has the o sound in the middle of the word, ubong. Then we have obong, obong, obong means mosquito. We have okono, okono, obong, obong, which means king. So you see that all of them has the o sound in it, either at the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, or the end of the word it can be anywhere beginning middle or end but it has the sound or it is represented with by letter o with a dot under it then the last vowel sound we have is oo 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 and these are words applicable to we have ufureyo umbrella ufureyo ufureyo which is umbrella in english then we have ufok 
Ufo means house in English. Unam, animal. Usoro, which means party. And Udok, which means door. All of them has the sound U in it, represented with by letter U. We have Ufue Yo, Ufo, Unam, Usoro, and Udok. So you see, all of them has these vowel sounds in it represented by their letters so when you see these vowel sounds in your words you know how to start pronouncing it so you study it very well if you study the vowel sounds very well you should be able to pronounce then the next one i will show you after the um, vowel sounds is consonant sounds consonant sounds are also speech sounds but they are sounds that are non-vowel sounds so we have some consonant sounds as well in Efik and Ibibu, which I'm going to show you. We have here, these are them, B, D, F, H, K, O, M, N, P, R, S, T, W, Y. Then there are some of them that are double letters, double letters, the two letters joined together to make the consonant sound. These are, then we have the, like the KP, it's very common. N W N Y G H N G and K W N K P. All these ones are very common. Like so, these are the consonant sounds we have in Efik and Ibibio. And there are some consonant letters or sounds that are not available in Ibibio language. And I'm going to show you before the end of this class those consonant sounds. So let's move to how you apply this consonant. Okay, let's continue from where we stopped. I said um, the consonant sounds as well. If you use a consonant letter and a vowel letter or a vowel sound, it's going to give you a reasonable sound. Nice. Let's look at um, this B added with a uh, letter A, which is A. It now gives you a sound ba, ba, ba. Then we have B, E, B, B, I, B, B, O, B, B, and O sound B, B and U. The same thing here. So you see, you see the consonant letter or sound B is here, and you see the vowel sounds here A, A, E, O, O, giving it a different sound for it. I look at the second one, which is which is letter D. If you use vowel sound A in it, it gives you D A da, D E D, D I D. D O do do D and O sound do D and U do so you see da da de D do 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 da de D do 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 then the same thing with uh, consonant A if you do use them vowel sound A a E O U to it, it gives you different sounds. If you use A with the consonant, it gives a different sound. A with the consonant, it gives a different sound. E with the, the consonant, it gives a different sound. And so on and so forth. Look at here, we have Fa, Fa, Fe, Fe, Fi, Fo, Fo, Fu. The same thing with H. Ha, he, he, ho, ho, who. So these are how to use when you use a consonant sound and a vowel sound together. It will give you a word. So vowel sounds and consonant sounds are used together to give you um, a word, and it helps in your pronunciation. So when you see a vowel and a consonant, you should be able to add them together and be able to pronounce. Now let's look at this word, few words here. Right? We have a um, vowel letter I here, which is E, V, which is consonant, O, which is vowel, 
the R which is consonant and another or which is vowel. So we have a E O O which gives you E boro E boro E boro E boro means answer. Then the next one here you see D A Y A which we have D is the consonant A is the vowel Y is a consonant and another A is the vowel it gives you dia 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 means sleep then we have another one here this is the consonant sound that are combined together two letters combined together to give a consonant sound I told you about we have here N W if you add a, a vowel sound to it, it gives you a meaningful word. This is N W. If you add E, Nwe, Nwe, Nwe. But if you add E D, Nwe, 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 there is A sound here and there is Nwe, which means book. Nwe means book. Nwe, Nwe means book. Then you see the KP here. It's also a double letter that makes a consonant sound as well, which is KP. This KP is also applicable in words. Like look at let's look at this word. Pupru. Pupru. Pupru means all. You see here, you see KPU. We have we have U. We have another. We have we have U. That's Pupru. Meaning all. Then you also have another common uh, word here, which is akban. Akban means person. So if you see here, you see a, uh, you see, you see a, uh, you see. So you have akban. A, 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 a. So the a, which is a, the kp, the n. So Akban, 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 which is what? First song. So these are how to use vowels and consonant sounds in your pronunciation. But before we end the class, as I told you, I'm going to show you the missing consonant sounds in Ibibio. Sorry, is in Ibibio. Missing consonant sound in Ibibio. Yes, Epic, I said I was missing consonant sound in Epic and Ibibio because it doesn't allow uh, um, us to pronounce very well so that's why you see those consonant sounds are not available and it affects um, our pronunciation whenever these letters are involved so these are the consonant sounds we have we have um, C we have G we have J we have Q we have B we have X and we have Z But we don't have it in Ibibio. We don't have it. It's only in English that we have it. And I think other um, other states, um, other languages have may have it, but I don't know. But I know most of the languages are not complete, so they actually still have their own flaws. So, but this is our own flaws. We don't have this. We don't have this consonant sound. That's why you see it affects our pronunciation whenever these letters are involved. Like you see, um, if they want to say. You, okay, so most times they mock uh, the five of people. They say, ah, uh ah. -uh. If you people, they will say, uh, uh, junction, junction, junction instead of junction. So the difference is that this J is the 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 J is not in our consonant. That's why you see them they pronounce it as Y, junction, junction. So that is just the issue we have. So vowels and consonant sounds makes up a word and is the basic of learning how to pronounce and spell. So this is why we had to look on, at this first in Epic and Ibibio before we proceed to other classes like how to speak, how to read, then the common words, the words and meanings, greetings and so on. 
which we are all going to talk about this in this class. So before we end this class, before the end of this class, in this tutorial, I know somebody is going to call grandma and grandpa, daddy and mommy, wherever they are, maybe you did not grow up with them, you know, at home, you call them and speak very well with them, ah, merci, you read very, you speak very well and they'll be surprised because of this. So if you love this video, click on the subscribe button, please don't forget. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button because if you click on the subscribe button, you will get my video, my video tutorial anytime I post it. You won't miss any of the classes. That is just it. So click on the subscribe button, you know. Make sure you do that and enjoy this class. Also, I also want you to practice. I want you to study the vowel sounds and apply it to words, a video words, you know, the one you have heard and apply it to them. Try to see if you can pronounce it, but I believe because at the end of this class, you're going to be a pro. Alright, thank you very much for staying with me in this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next class. Bye!